Right, let's take a look at how the measurements were made. This diagram illustrates the experimental setup schematically. Live tracheal tissue from a sheep was mounted in a tissue bath. Using the tissue bath, we could control the flow, temperature, and humidity of air passing over the trachea to simulate different environments. In the middle of the photograph, you can see the actual tissue bath that was used. We obtained sheep trachea tissue from an abattoir. The base of the bath simulated normal physiological conditions to maintain the live sample. We kept the bath at a normal body temperature for a sheep, 38 degrees Celsius, that's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A humidifier supplied a unidirectional airflow over the mucus layer sitting on the epithelial or outer surface of the trachea. During the experiment, temperature and humidity of the air supplied by the humidifier were varied between normal body and typical room environments. Normal body conditions for a sheep trachea were taken as 38 degrees Celsius, 100% relative humidity. And we used 24 degrees, that's 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and 60% humidity as our typical room air environment. We observed the trachea sample with a microscope through a heated glass window in the top of the tissue bath. A high-speed digital camera connected to the microscope let us record the beating cilia and mucociliary transport of debris caught in the mucus layer that you can see in this video. The experimental setup let us show you real-time measurements as the temperature and humidity of air flowing over the trachea were changed at the humidifier.